हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग गाइस इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस रैक टोपोलॉजी राइट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म माय फर्स्ट टास्क ऑफ सीसीएनपी ऑन रैक एंड एज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर दिस इज माय टास्क राइट सो आई एम गोइंग टू परफॉर्म दिस टास्क ऑन रियल डिवाइस ऑन माय रैक ओके सो एज यू कैन सी फर्स्ट टास्क इज कॉन्फिगर स्विच वंस पोर्ट फास्ट इथरनेट 0/19 edge layer 3 interface so first of all we need to run no switch port command on this interface right no switch port command on fast ethernet 0/19 and switch 1 fast ethernet 0/19 is connected to switch 3 in my rack right so my topology is like this this is my switch 1 switch 1 interface 0/19 is connected to switch 3 this is my switch 3 fine this is also 0/19 we had discussed these things in last video rack topology this is 19 fine after that task 2 task 2 is configure switch 2 port fast ethernet 0/19 so switch 2 port 0/19 is connected to switch 4 in my rack right so this is also 0/ 19 and this is switch 4 0/19 right and here also we need to run no switch port command and on this interface switch 1 fast ethernet 0/19 i will configure this ip address okay and on switch 2 fast ethernet 0/19 i will configure this ip address right 169.254.1.1 on switch 1 and 1.2 on switch 2 after that configure the port fast ethernet 0/19 on switch 3 okay so i am talking about this interface 19 and switch 4 so i am talking about this interface so these two interface to be access port in vlan 169 so you will configure this interface as access port of vlan 169 vlan 169 after that configure fast ethernet 0/20 okay so 0/20 is connected to 0/20 of switch 1 and switch 3 is connected to switch 3 and switch 4 this is my switch 4 fine so task 3 is configure fast ethernet 0/20 and 0/21 between switch 3 and switch 4 so here we will use both port this is 0/20 and this one is 0/21 fine as dot 1q trunk so here we will configure trunk trunk by using this encapsulation protocol dot 1q encapsulation protocol and last one is for verification test that switch 1 and switch 2 have ipv4 reachability to reach each other over vlan so after that i will ping this ip address from switch 1 or you can ping this ip address from switch 2 okay guys so first of all let me take access of my rack and then i will show you configuration step by step first of all i will create this logical topology first of all i will shut down all interface of all switches all interfaces of all switches then i will run no shutdown command on 0/19 of switch 1 right and i will up 0/19 0/20 0/21 to switch 3 and i will run no shutdown command on 0/19 of switch 2 and on switch 4 i will up this this, this interface 0/19 0/20 0/21 and then i will show you configuration so let me access of my rack let me take access of my rack okay so as you can see over here i have access of all switches so this is my switch 1 interface range fast ethernet 1/0/1 to 24 and let me run shutdown command and this is my switch 2 let me down all interfaces first to 24 shutdown 
Then go to switch 3. Configure terminal interface range. Fast Ethernet. 0 slash 1 to 24. Set down. Configure terminal interface range. Fast Ethernet. 1 slash. Oh, sorry. This is 0 slash 1 to 24. Okay. Set down. So on switch 4 my interface is 0 slash 1 to 0 slash 24 and switch 1 from 1 slash 0 slash 1 to 1 slash 0 slash 24 and let me up this interface no switch port and now I can configure IP address here without running no switch port command you can't configure IP address so IP is this one 169.255 fine now go to switch 2 interface f0 slash 1 slash 9 and on switch port you can't configure IP address right so you have to run no switch port command all the time so let me run the switch port command first no switch port oh IP address now you can see I am able to configure IP address over here but if I will run switch port command so by default this command is enabled on all interface so you can see now I am not able to configure IP address so you can't configure IP address on switch port so that's why you have to run no switch port command on layer 3 switch interface fine you can see invalid input right so first of all no switch port and then IP address IP address will be 169 dot uh, 254 192.160 okay just wait 192.254 here 254 sorry 254 dot 1 dot 2 na set 1 dot 2 ok now go to switch 3 and let me up 0 slash 20 and 0 slash 21 so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 90 oh, set down. now switch 1 and switch 3 is connected you can check so cdp never as well now let me create vlan 169 and let me make 0 slash 90 to access port switch port mode access switch port access vlan 169 now this interface is member of vlan 169 which is connected to switch 1 fine in my physical topology okay now so vlan brief you can see there is one vlan 169 and in this vlan we have one interface that is 0 slash 19 and now let me up 0 slash 20 and 0 slash 21 so interface range fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 9 20 and 21 say no shutdown switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q after that switch port mode trunk ok now configuration of switch 3 is fine now let me configure switch 4 so interface 0 slash 19 first of all let me run no shutdown command and let me make this interface as access port and uh, let me create vlan 169 exit interface F0 slash 90 switch port mode access VLAN 169 169 fine exit interface range F0 slash 20 to 21 no 0 slash 20 to 21 which is connected to switch 3 this is switch 4 and switch 4 is connected to switch 3 with two interface 0 slash 20 and 0 slash 19 switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q and switch port mode trunk fine so interface trunk so you can see this is trunk interface I think there is some faulty in 21 port in cable faulty 
maybe yes i will check it after this configuration so you can see 21 is up but 20 is still down so i think cable is not connected properly so ip interface brief this interface is down dot one q switch port mode trunk yes so i think there is some problem in cabling so i have to replace this cable between switch 3 to switch 4 cable which is connected on port 0/20 i have to replace yes there is problem in cable this is cable faulty problem okay now let me verify am i able to ping or not so ip interface brief oh my god yes there is problem in cable don't worry guys let me ping it can ping through port 0/29 to 54.1.1.2 just wait i'm not able to ping let me do trouble shoot so cdp neighbor my neighbor is switch 3 fine let me check so cdp neighbor on switch 2 so cdp neighbor there is no neighbor let me check one more thing so ip interface brief 0/19 is connected to switch 4 so 0/19 is still down so here i think we need to run no shutdown command on switch 4 first of all let me check here switch 4 yes you can see this interface is administratively down that means i have to run no shutdown command and 0/20 cable is faulty okay so i will replace that cable don't worry in next video that cable will be work properly okay so now neighbor is switch for now can i ping stp will take 30 second to come in forwarding state that's why i think i am not able to ping just wait it will ping it will ping there is no any problem so cdp never fine trunk okay everything is fine so go to switch number 4 or switch number 1 so vlan let me check vlan as well so yes vlan is fine okay so i think because of stp we were we was not able to ping stp was taking time so cdp never yes never is fine let me ping so interface trunk okay everything is fine so we land yes okay now 
let me check connectivity yes you can see now i am able to ping success it is 80 percent so there is connectivity so guys this is your task one in next video we will perform next next task ping 169.254.1.1 okay i was pinging pinging from switch 4 so there is no any ip address on switch 4 so let me ping from switch 2 dot one dot two one yes success it is hundred percent so there is connectivity between switch one and switch two that's all for today guys thanks for watching bye bye we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe